Hello everyone, I hope you are well. Today's video is going to be the third part of the previ our previous video using ChatGPT to build system diagrams. We will create system diagrams using Planch UML. It's like JS, but JS was too limited but we are going to see many diagrams using Planch UML. But before starting, did you watch my previous video in which I talked about how can we create system diagrams using Marmit plus draw.io using Bing AI. If you are new here, I am Hassan and I post tutorials on this channel. If you might be interested in watching those videos, consider subscribing to the channel. If you have any questions, comment now in this video. Let's start today's video without any further delay. So this is a tool which is Planch UML. We, you can see that there are many diagrams, sequence diagram, use case, class, object, activity, component, deployment, state and timing. There are also diagrams which are known UML diagrams which is supported in this tool Planch UML. In previous video you saw that we couldn't create component diagram, deployment diagram and a state diagram like we were expecting from Marmaid.js but this tool will exactly give you the result that you're expecting. You can see that the activity diagram has many code to make the activity diagram better. You can see that and this plant UML tool also, also have this feature. You can see many more features like the swim lane diagram which is actually right here. You can see that right here. If you scroll down, yes right here is the swim lane diagram which contains systems so that we have to create a swim lane diagram which is the part of the activity diagram. You can also see that we can create partitions in this tool and we can also use fork and join in this tool. Plant UML can give you the code for that. You can see right here, this is the fork and this is the join and there are many other features of this tool. It, it, it is just the activity diagram but if you can, if you will see the whole tool, you can see that component diagram, deployment, state and time which has many codes. Now let's talk about how can we use this tool. You can see that there is no live editor for using this tool. Now what we have to do is to first download the Java. You can just go right here Java download and go for the first link and just simply download it right from here. You will see a setup then you can just go for it. After that you can open the setup and it will prompt you to some installing instructions. I've all already installed this Java setup but I'm going to uh, tell you the instructions which you can just follow to install the setup. So you can click on install and it will just go for the downloader and it will install it. Now next thing is to install is the JDK. Uh, you can just type JDK and type download and you will find the Java archive downloads. You can click on it and you will find the JDK tools right here. You can just download any version of this but I recommend using JDK 9 because I tested the client UML tool on JDK 9. So you can just uh, write here JDK 9 download and you will find this. So if you you can just download any version of this but it should be the nine ver ninth version of the JDK. So it is for Linux 2 and Mac also but I'm going to use Windows. After this you will just download this and you will see that folder where you have installed this. You can just go to your installation di directory. So I downloaded this uh, setup into this folder. So when you will just install this setup, it will prompt you to choose the uh, directory. So I selected this directory and then after installation, you will see those files. Now there is one thing more you have to do is to just go to the environment variables. You have to in edit the system environment variables. You have to click on this in edit environment variables and then you have to go for the Java home. If you don't have Java home, you can just click on new and in here you have to type Java underscore home and in here you have to give the path of this. You have to copy the path and then paste it just right here. I have already did that so I'm not going to do this again. After that you have to give the path to. So what you have to do is to click on it. The system variable path will be already there. You have to just edit it. So you have to click on new and you can see that there is a bin folder. You have to open it and copy the path. Click on new and just paste it right here. I've already did that so you can see that right here. So I'm not going to do this again. You have to cancel this. So now we have done installing Java and we have set up our Java with JDK 9. Now we I are going to use the Planch UML but before that you have to download the Planch UML tool too. You can click on download and or you just you can just type plantuml.jar. You will find this releases on GitHub. You have to just click on it and you have to just download the simple one. Planch UML and it has the version. Click on it and it will automatically download the file. So you will get this file and it's done downloading the Plant UML. Now we are going to use Plant UML. We are going to ask uh, ChatGPT to give the code for the Plant UML. 
what I'm going to type here is that I need to create diagrams using plant UML coding. Press enter and let's see what it gives us. So here is the result it generated. It gives us an example of the class diagram. It also told us that we can create those diagrams, those UML diagrams in plant UML. It shows that you can use this tool using this, but I recommend not using this uh, command because I'm going to give you another command which which will work uh, perfectly. Now let's just try this example which it generated. You you have to go to that folder where plantuml.jar exists. You have to create a new file and name it anything you want. And the extension should be the P-U-M-L. You can see that it's plantuml. It's the short form for this extension. And then you have to create the file and save this. What we have to do next is to just click on this and type CMD. It will just pop up the command prompt right here. What you have to type here is Java hyphen jar and the jar file name plant UML dot jar face and then the diagram file name, which you just pasted the code. So it's diagram dot P U M L press enter and it will generate the diagram file right here. So here it is. It is the sample class diagram it generated and we can ask for more examples from ChatGPT. Let's ask more examples. So I'm going to type give me example for sequence diagram. Give me example code for sequence diagram. Press enter and let's see what it gives us. So I'm going to just copy it and paste it right here. Again, we have to just repeat that command and it will just replace that diagram.tml file with the another file. So here is the sequence diagram. You can see that it is just an example. You can just give the use case of whatever you want and ask it to generate the sequence diagram according to that use case. Now let's try another example. Uh, we can also create the activity diagram. Let's ask for it to give example code for activity diagram and press enter. Let's see what it gives us. So here's the code. We have to just copy it and do the same. Save the file and make sure you have to close the previous files. Now we have to just execute the previous command, which was about java hyphen jar plant uml dot jar diagram dot qml. Press enter and it should generate the file. So here it is our activity diagram file. Here it is. So there are many functions of the activity diagram that I showed you before, like join and fork and swim line diagrams. You can also create that. But this is it for example. And remember that you have to just type first of all, I need to create diagrams using planned UML coding. If you will not execute this prompt, it will just give you many errors, uh, which it cannot handle. Uh, so it is necessary that you use this prompt before doing anything else. Even use this prompt if you are going to give your use case to chat GPT. So remember this, this is very much important. Now let's just another example. Uh, I'm going to ask for it, uh, component deployment diagrams. So type here, give example code for deployment diagrams. Press enter and let's see. So here's the result of the pro uh, deployment diagram. And if you see the code that we have the links or URLs, you have to copy it and check it first that if it is working or not. If this shows this 404 now not found, you can just ask ChatGPT that remove any external links and images and it will give you the updated code and you have to do this. Otherwise, it will not give you the diagram. So here it is. Copy this code. Let's see and close the previous one and I'm going to again execute that previous command and the diagram is right here. So you can see. So this is the deployment diagram and it is very much better than the Marmaid one that Marmaid created. Actually, Marmaid cannot create component and diagram and deployment diagrams, but Plant UML can give you the code for the deployment and component diagrams. And you can see the difference that it can generate the activity diagram and it has many codes, which you can see it has fork and join and it is a final flow. And I think it is these features are not available in Marmaid.js. So Marmaid.js is very much limited, but I just found this tool branch UML. It is very much helpful if you are going to create many system diagrams with advanced versions. Below are the advanced version you can see right here, which have partitions too. And it contains the partitions you can see below right here if you scroll down. So here are groups or partition. You can see that this is not available in Marmaid JS. Let's try another example. And we can try right here is the component diagram. Let's try for component diagram. Give example code for the component diagram. Let's see what it gives us. So you can see that it again included the URL. You have to just ask it to remove external images and URLs. Don't include external images and URLs or links. Let's see what it gives us now. So here's a sample code. I'm going to just copy it. 
save it right here and again execute the command so it has successfully generated the command so here it is so it is a component diagram it is just a sample diagram and definitely the use case that you will give to ChatGPT, it will create the more advanced version and the perfect version let's try the another example i'm going to ask for the state transition diagram give example code for the state transition diagram press enter and see so guys here is a code i'm going to copy it so that you can see it and execute that previous command and it successfully generated so right here is the state transition diagram so these are the states and this is just an example as i said before so you can try another uh, diagrams too you can find it right here or you can just use the non uml diagrams too you can create timing diagrams which i did not try you can also create object diagram and use case diagram also and these are the non uml diagrams which are the advanced version you can see that work breakdown structure diagram is also right here you can also create it and erd is also right here network diagrams json data you can just give the json data and it will create the diagram you can see right here if you give the database and it will create the diagram right here so you can explore it and it has many diagrams as i said before which can be very helpful for your university projects or for software engineers and business analysts so this was all about today's video if you have any questions about installing the plant uml or installing about the or set up about the java or executing the commands you can just ask in the comments section and i will try to answer them all so if you like the video click the subscribe button and don't forget to click the bell icon so you will be notified when i publish the next video Thank you guys for watching.